Today in the studio, we're very proud, very honored to have the chairman of the Wayne County Board of Commissioners, Mr. George Wayne Acock. Wayne, how you doing? Doing fine. I Hope appreciate you are. you're coming in again. I'm doing great, thanks. Yeah, this is getting to be a regular thing, and I'm happy about that. Well, that's that's true. We need to let the people in the county know what's going on. Yes, indeed. And uh, we're here. We are. We're at the end of the month of June of 2015. Our fiscal year has ended, almost. Almost. As of today, at the time, at the day we recorded this, it's almost ending. And uh, today's the day that we uh, went through the budget process, got the budget uh, 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 finished, voted on by, by commissioners. And it's been a long process. Uh, how, do, how do commissioners see the budget? What are commissioners trying to do when they're working on the budget? Well, the main thing is, you know, as elected, elected officials, uh, we... Uh, my wife gets on me all the time for saying, oh, so excuse me. <laughs> That's okay. But but anyhow, we, we work on, each department has to submit their budget. Uh, there's a process you go through, and as elected officials, our, our responsibility is to cut anywhere we can because, you know, it's always been said that how much waste there is in government. And we certainly try to strive in Wayne County to keep a handle on it. Uh, and, and we go through the process of department heads and other agencies submitting their needs. Uh, they don't always get what they want, but it's like I say, uh, the county manager is charged to, uh, to actually present the budget to us. And that's kind of the process. We start in early May uh, working on it and uh, have work sessions and we go back and forth, uh, you know, with seven uh, board members uh, most of the time we we're in agreement but then again sometimes we have difference of opinions and that's what we have to work sessions for is to work it out so the the uh final answer is what's the best for the citizens of wayne county now now i'm only a lay person now, but i am a voter and here's the way i see it as as a member uh, of the community here as part of the wayne county population i see it we have seven different individuals there yes sir and each one has their own way of thinking yes sir about how things should be done yes sir and we have a certain amount of money to deal with right so uh, so we have only got one pie and we got uh, that's to, right we got, got to cut to, it up we got to cut it up <laughs> <laughs> all right so with if we if everybody thought the same way we'd only need one person if everybody well, thought the same way. Well, but, and, and, if, and if we all thought the same way wouldn't this be a dull place oh, to live? Oh wouldn't it though <laughs> I'll tell you what it, uh, it, was, it was an interesting uh, meeting today. So, so what's the end result of this? Uh, are, are, how are we doing in Wayne County? Are we, are we making we're, progress We're here? making progress. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, projects going on. Uh, and some of the things that we uh, addressed today uh, is our atrium in the courthouse. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's nice, very attractive, but very inefficient. Uh, we don't have any what they call an air chamber or air lock coming mm -hmm. in, two sets of doors to come in like most uh, buildings do, commercial buildings. And we're in the process of, of that happening. Uh, and we've worked with a, working with an outside contractor mm -hmm. and also our facilities interim director is, is, uh, is helping look after that. But that's one of the projects that's going on. Uh, we have one of the EMS stations down at Dudley that is in dire need of a roof. Uh, we're doing basically the same thing there. The county is uh, going out and, and actually buying the material and then contracting it with outside a contractor. To, and, that, uh, and that's because the county can buy the it for less. The county can buy the material for less yeah. than the contractor can. And that's, it's all about saving money for the taxpayers. Yeah anywhere we can and you mentioned the atrium here at the courthouse you know anybody that's been to the courthouse in the dead of winter knows it's really cold well that's just about as cold in the atrium as it is on the outside it, that's true and, and it's almost almost as bad in the summertime seems like we do get a little more cooling in the summertime yeah. in there yeah. but in the winter time it, we're really it's really not we're really not doing our security people justice make them stand out in that cold because they're they're in it you know for eight ten hours a day that's right and it's cold in the winter and hot in the summer yeah. so it's very yeah. uncomfortable but it is as a side note to that it's also going to be uh more efficient with our power it's going it? it's going to be more efficient uh and also uh at some point it's going to probably play into our security for the yeah. courthouse yeah. because you know 
we live in a in a world today that's different from what we're, the, the world was when we were children. That's true. I mean, you know, I used to and my parents never locked the door, but 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 we can't we don't live in that world now. It's, it, the world has changed, our country has changed, mm -hmm. and and we're going to. Uh, in fact, we're already looking at uh, issues with security at the courthouse, and, and the, the two sets of doors is going to also play into that. And it's better to go ahead and take care of that now instead of waiting yeah, until after right, something happens. Right, right. So uh, commissioners were pretty much in agreement on just about in just about all of the budget. Just, just the, about. At I the mean, end, at the a, very yeah, end. Yeah, well, I mean, we got a unanimous vote on the budget. Yeah. We, we had to discuss some issues that we had difference of opinions on, mm -hmm. but uh, I, I think it's a good budget. And this is my third budget, and this has been the easiest one. We really, we've, why, we've why, had. Why has that happened? been the easiest one? Would you say? I, I think that the seven commissioners, which Mr. Gurley come on, you know, in, uh, in the middle of a term, <coughs> but I think the, the seven of us has got to where we uh, kind of understand each other better. Uh, and, and I think that plays into it big because, you know, most of the things we vote on is unanimous. We had a couple today that won't, but, sure. but, but like, like we said a while ago, mm -hmm. you know, we got our rights to have different opinions. Sure. But uh, I think that was and one thing, and, and Mr. Wood has done a fan, fantastic job. And really, I don't know how much it played into it, but by having an assistant county manager, that has had to have taken a whole lot off Mr. Wood. I mean, some yeah. of the responsibility yeah. that Tommy is doing, Mr. Wood could could rest assured that it would get taken yeah. care of, and 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 he really had more time to to go into depth on the on the budget this yeah, year. You're, you're I mean, right. Because last year he was he stepped right into it at budget time, so he was. <laughs> He uh, sure did. Uh, he did a fantastic it. job last year, but, but even better this yeah. year. And you're referencing, of course, Tommy Burns. Our, uh, well, he's been there a year now, hasn't he? Yeah, uh, close to almost, about three, about three quarter. Well, yeah. Okay, almost a year. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Soon be a year, and uh, he is doing a fine he's, job. He's, Tommy he's, Burns, he's, yep. our assistant county manager. Yep, he's doing a good job. All right. So where do we go from here? We start the new year, the new fiscal year, July one. July one, and. Uh, we just we move forward. You know everybody's budget's in, mm -hmm. and uh, we hope that they can stick to the budget as close as they can. But you know, and you never know what's going to happen. Things pop up, and you know, we have to do budget amendments sometimes. We don't particularly like them, but it's just the nature of the beast. So, in your opinion, how is the county the county sitting uh, money wise? Are we Fi in pretty good shape? Financially, or? we're in good shape. Uh, we are, you know, we're mandated to keep a certain amount in reserve, right. be, be depending on the size of our budget. Mm -hmm. And I don't know exactly what the do dollar figure is that we're required to, you know, for emergencies or whatever. But, uh, but we've, we've got a lot of projects going on right now. The figures may not look like that we're in as good a shape as we were last year, but actually we're in, in as good or better because, you know, we've got the two new schools going up. That's, that's got to right. be funded. That's right. uh, we've already appropriated the money for the jail. That's come, came out of uh, 15, 16 year. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, the, the figures may not show that we're in quite as good a shape, but actually we're in as good or better shape. If you, if you can take into consideration the, the money that has already been, uh, it's restricted now. I mean, once we put it for the jail or the schools or whatever, it can't be used for anything else. That's it's, right. it's, it's earmarked and it's, it, the money's still there, it's just not in the, the, the general fund. I wanted to ask you about the detention center since you mentioned that. I did want to ask you about that anyway, but the, uh, that's a brand new detention center that's going to be built. It's going to take new personnel, so that's exciting. Uh, it is. And, and sure, it's unfortunate, but we need it's it. It's unfortunate, but it, 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 it's, it's just part of, part of life today. That's the way it is now. Uh, yes, the, the, the sheriff has asked for personnel, and uh, he's going to hire them uh, not all at one time because the, when we, the new jail opens, I mean, it's it's not go, we're not going to open the doors today, and it's going to be full tomorrow. Right. Uh, and so he's going to go ahead and start hiring people uh, fairly soon uh, to go ahead and get them trained. So when we do open it, we have people in in place to uh, mm -hmm. to to take care of the jail. Uh, and we're hoping. I think Mr. Wood said today that the 23rd of this month is when we're going to get the uh, the bids in. Oh, so, great! So we are we are real close moving on, on moving on. Yeah. Uh, and we already. Uh, uh, we had one old building over at the hospital that we had demolished, and uh, we're going to actually use part of that as fuel for the new jail. I mean, we're we're really looking at the dollars. Yeah, and, and using what we can. Well, and not only not only we can use it for fuel over at the jail site. That's just that much that we're keeping out of the landfill. Now that's true. I mean, you that's know, right. it's just it was it was a win-win. Yeah. 
So what about the Ag Center? I, and that's that's a big project. How are we doing on that? We're, we're working on we're, getting the money. We're, we're working on getting the money. <laughs> uh, hopefully we can have some kind of groundbreaking next year on that. Uh, it's, it's, it's almost scary how close the city and the county is working together on it and also the college. I mean, the, I the, the, three, the three groups uh, I mean, it's, it's, it is. We can sit down and, and, and talk the issues out, mm -hmm. and, and the college has been great to work for, with, the city has yeah. been great to work with. It's just, it's just this is going to be a win-win for the region. This is, this is going to be a, a regional thing. I mean, it's not only going to be just for Wayne County, it's going to be for, for this region. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe Seymour Johnson pay, has played a major role in this as well, have they not? Well, they have. They, see, uh, this is going to be a, a big you know, we're always looking for retention on to make oh, sure that we keep oh, yeah. the base open. Oh yes. And this is going to be uh, this is, will benefit the base also. Yeah. So uh, so everybody's going to win on this. Yes. So if we have groundbreaking next year, do you have any idea what the timeline would no, be? No, I do not. I do not. I mean, that's a guess uh, on anybody. Commissioner Pate has really spearheaded this, yeah. and he has a whole lot more answers than the rest of us because this, I mean he's passionate about this. He's yeah. this is he's really worked hard on it. Yes, he has, and uh, and I think uh, all commissioners have uh, have taken this the ag center. They all see the importance of our new agriculture center right. here in Wayne County, the regional agriculture. Regional, center. right? Yeah. That that's the key word. Regional. Regional is yes. the key. That's right. right. That's that, that's going to bring in people from not only surrounding counties right. but all, all of eastern North Carolina. Eastern North Carolina. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, talking with Tyler Whaley from the Cooperative Extension Service the other day, he's saying that our crops are in pretty good shape. Pretty good, but we could use a little drink of water right we now. We could use I mean, some rain. Yeah, we could use some rain. This week we've had some 100 plus degree temperatures. Yes. What does that do for the county? Does it put a strain on us? It, uh, as far as the county itself, I wouldn't think it really does. I mean, my concern is, uh, is our elderly people mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and young people, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you know, children. And, and our pets. I mean, uh, if you have elderly, elderly people in your family, make sure you look after them. And, uh, and if you don't have any, look after your neighbors because there's somewhat, someone old living close to us. I mean, yeah. you, we need to look after our, our, our elderly people and, and our pets. You know, a pet's kind of like a child. It's 24-7. I That's mean, right. they, can, they, can't, they can't defend for themselves if they're locked up in a pen or, or something. So, you know, our pets and our elderly people really concern me right. uh, with weather like this. And uh, Wayne, I, always, I know that you are always wanting to hear from the constituency. You're the at-large yes, commissioner sir. here in yes, Wayne sir. County, so you answer to everybody. I'm accountable to everyone. That's right. So anybody that might have a suggestion, they have a question for you, they have any kind of inquiry, they can contact you through the county manager's office. Through the here. county manager's office. And, uh, and I'm, you know, I try to return the calls. You know, I may not return it in five minutes, but I do. They get the message to me. And I try to try to return the calls. All right, very good. Uh, we want to mention uh, again. Oh yes, during the uh, the commissioners meeting, there was a proclamation you read, naming a portion of the new highway. Yes, sir. For After Senator John Carr the Senator third, Carr. he uh, I think it's very fitting. Uh, most people that my age remember Senator Carr quite well. He was very he was very vocal. I mean, he was what about six six foot six he was and, a big fella and he was a big man he a big fella yeah. and uh and he 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 really did a lot for eastern north carolina he did a lot as a representative and a senator for the whole state of north carolina but he really his passion was eastern north carolina yeah. Yeah. and and we felt like it was fitting you know he just passed away a couple of weeks ago and the uh it, when new bypass opens is we've already uh contacted the DOT on naming a section out on the western end after uh, DOT employee or engineer uh, Gray Bailey. Right. And, and the, we would like for the center section, part of one section of the center piece, be named after Senator Carr. We felt that right. it would be, uh, that's, going, that's as close to the city, and John did just as much for the city as he did the county. That's very true. And, and we felt like that if we could get it, you know, probably what would be in the city limits right. at some time, we felt like that was the proper place to put it. Right. If, if the DOT you know, it goes along with it. And we wanted to go ahead and get uh, Senator Carr's name in uh, as early as we could uh, because uh, you have to either be living or deceased for a year to get a road, bridge, mm -hmm. or ferry or something named after you. Yeah. We want to go ahead and get Senator Carr's name in 
before all of that road space was taken and up. just as a side note you mentioned gray bailey he was a gentleman who was killed in an accident right. last year yes sir so part of the highway is going to be named for him yes sir we've already got that process that's, started that's in that started i mean, I mean he gave his life for that he know. did he yeah. was working on the right. highway. he was working on that section of the highway yeah. And then uh, Senator John Carr, the late Senator Carr, who was loved by many, was mm -hmm. instrumental not only in, in roadways, but of course in water sewer here in eastern North right. Carolina. And, 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 and he had a passion for Cherry Hospital. He, he mean, did that. In fact, the new hospital, and you know, it's under construction now, he was very instrumental in getting that started. He was. He will be missed. He will. All right. Again, I'll mention that to anyone who wants to contact you can do so through the county manager's yes, office sir. here at the courthouse. And we've been talking with Wayne Acock, who is the chair, uh, commissioner at large, but also uh, Wayne County Board of Commissioners chairman. And we thank you very much for your time, sir. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it.